all right all right all right i'm back and i've got an unboxing of a bunch of magical things that have been sent to me actually got three things came in the post today all samples from friends or viewers and i want to thank you all i'll get to these eventually but what i want to really focus on today is what i assume is going to be le leo the chanel in here which i'm really looking forward to i'm um, actually looking forward to all of these but i've been waiting for this for a long 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 time so um and this was sent to me by longtime viewer kanger who reached out and said hey i've got some Lilio i can send you amongst a number of other cool things and there's a quite a number of things in here so thank you so much Kanger. I really appreciate this. Lilio won't be released here. Oh man, I don't know. I'm thinking January at the earliest of 2020. And there's got to be a dozen samples in here. I don't know how I'm going to find <laughs> Lilio. Oh man, you're going to have to bear with me. For those of you that don't like unboxings, just fast forward. Um, so we got Prada Infusion the Mandarin sample of that, which I, I can't remember. I remember smelling all the Prada wine and there was a few that I liked. I remember liking the Carnation specifically. That one stood out to me. Um, we've got Zoologist Koala, which I don't believe I've smelt yet. These are all Memo. Winter Palace, there goes the train. Winter Palace. And they'll come wrapped like this. Uh, Parfum de Marley Sutton. Is this, I think this is the new one that had to be rebranded or renamed due to copyright issues from, uh, it was a, a copyright strike from um, bond number nine. Hmm, naughty, naughty. So we'll, we'll get to that. Um, Bottega Veneta 7. I'm not sure what that means exactly. I think that might be the exclusive Bottega line, which got those really nifty looking bottles um i've smelt a few of those but i can't remember a whole lot it was just like in passing i quickly look i've got a, a whole bunch here kanger went ape shit with samples thank you so much kanger um creed pure white cologne i'm not familiar with that at all and we've got another one here. This is Creed Sublime, Sublime Vani. Not familiar with that either. Sometimes I wonder how these guys know what I've smelt and what I haven't. He's obviously been watching my channel to know, or he's, you know, he's keeping up to date. But I don't think it's hard to guess that I haven't smelt all the Creeds or that I'm not familiar with them. Ellie Saab, Essence number six. Oh, Vetiver, I've, I've, yeah, I've picked up the Ellie Saab Santal, which is really nice. And I do want to smell that Vetiver. I'm really curious about the rest of that Ellie Saab line. All done by Francis Clugdian. Here we have Oh, Afternoon Swim. I think this is the Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. I've I've smelt this at the Louis Vuitton. I've got Chanel body oil on, shimmering off of my face because I went swimming today after work and the chlorine had dried me out. But I think this is Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim, which, which comes in that swanky... 
um, blue packaging, really cool looking bottle. I remember smelling this at the Louis Vuitton boutique. I definitely want to take this for a test drive as I am, I am getting really curious with the Louis Vuitton line. Um, there's been some hits and there's obviously been some uh, more misses, glaring misses. But this is Creed Jardin de Malfi. I'm not familiar with that either. Um, yeah, there's definitely a couple of... Uh, Louis Vuitton's um, that I'm really high on. I'm, I'm extremely high on Nuit de Faux, the smoky Udi incense. Oh, Louis Vuitton, Le Mans Cité. Okay, so I've, I've, I've got a little bit to say about this. I, I won't do it in this video, but you'll probably hear me talk about it in future videos. But I am absolutely madly in love with Nuit de Faux. Go check out Nuit de Faux if you can get a sample. But uh, before you do, know that it is dirty, skanky, animalic, mm, slightly fecal. And uh, for me, it's a perfume like this, you know, only comes out once every 10 years or so. Whoa, and there is the big honking Lilio de Chanel. And he's even thrown in an atomizer. Kanger, you are the fucking man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, let's give this a whirl. There's a fair size there. I can't wait for this to launch and... So I do have, you know, we've talked about um, the notes being similar to Coromandel, which I've sprayed here on a blotter just before I, I started the video. I've gotten, you know, I, I've seen some reviews. I've, I've, I've talked to some people that have smelt it and said, Eugene, when you smell Lilio, you're going to love it because it's uh, geared towards the Middle East. It's a little bit dirty and funky and it's a little bit heavier than the things that were custom two from Chanel uh, so yeah okay so there's Coromandel we kind of talked about it having the same note breakdown as Coromandel you know the Coromandel's got the um, the florals and the incense and the patchouli the frankincense um, the white chocolate accord the benzoin and uh, you know this in, in the pyramid this does look extremely similar to um, Coromandel. So we're gonna do this. This is what I like to do. I can only do it like this when I'm testing one fragrance. If, this is, if it's any more than one, I, I can't really do it like this, but. Yeah, okay. I get leather right off the top, incense, la labdanum smoke, it's much heavier than <coughs> than Cormandel. Excuse me. Wow. There's a Styrax in here. In like incense. It's definitely related to Coral Mandel. Benzoin. And it's not really sweet. But I definitely get the patchouli and it's scratchy. This is much heavier than Coral Mandel. It's, it's way more abrasive. Coral Mandel's got that patchouli, but it's almost really refined, almost like buttery. This is way more aggressive. Um, I can almost feel like the density of the patchouli. It's like gritty, sandpapery, it's scratchy. There's a little bit of citrus in the top notes. Um, I gotta be honest, uh, with my limited experience with Serge Luton's Borneo, 
this this is you know more closer to Borneo than it is Sycamore and Borneo is also you know it's related to Chanel somehow because um, that was created with by Christian Sheldrake which is also in the Chanel family so I wonder if you know Christian uh, is it Christian Sheldrake Sheldrake is still kind of behind the scene, uh, scenes at Chanel um, I like this a lot this is very frank this is not incense this is frankincense very rich deep uh, golden ambery powdery um, there's something very oily in here It's a note that I remember from one of the the uh, Guerlain Elixir Charnels. Let me just uh, open this up for a second. My battery is dead. Fuck. Ah, one second. I think it's um. Elixir Charnels, it's not Bois Touride, it is, the name escapes me. I'd get up, but I'm in my underwear. Um, okay, give me one second, hang with me here, hang with me. I definitely pick up a Styrax and it definitely reminds me of a Serge Luton's. So they all come up except for the one that it's not Floral Romantique or Chypre Fatale or French Kiss. It's the discontinued one. It's not Gourmand Coquine. And of course the Guerlain website's a hunk of shit. Ugh. I gotta go to the other website. Hang with me, okay? Hang, just hang out, we'll hang out, unless you have something better to do. So I'm gonna look up this Elixir Charnel, and I'm going to look up Borneo. Let's look up Borneo. I mean, no, it doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like Coromandel. Here's Coromandel EDT. Um, You know, obviously it's got the same colors and similar textures, powderiness. Um, I, yeah, even this color, the, the color of Lilio is darker. It's, it's much more ambery, sticky. It's, it's sticky is what it is. Borneo, patchouli, camphor, cardamom, cystus, galbanum, and cacao. All right, cacao can be, you know, Kind of like the equivalent of white chocolate. Um, is it Borneo? All right, let me go to Elixir Charnels here. <laughs> Guerlain has so many fragrances that it's, um, is it Charnel Elixir or Elixir Charnel?
Oh, here we go. Oriental Brulon. That's the one I was thinking of. Okay, so we got balsamic, sweet, vanilla, aromatic, almond, and amber. And this is a really good fragrance, by the way. I think the uh, Elixir Charnel line's garbage, to be honest. It's just filled with sugary, sweet. Um, just really non-inspiring fragrances, but I do like Oriental Brulon. Styrax, that's what it is. Styrax is in an Oriental. That's what must, that's where my connection is to Oriental Brulon. But it's also got a big dose of patchouli and it's scratchy and resinous. But I think um, Oriental Brulon is a lot more sweet. Christine Nagel. Yeah, okay. So, let me see really quickly here. Great fragrance, Oriental Brulon, but I think I like this a little bit better. I can't wait to wear this, to be honest. It's very sharp with a lot of warmth in the background. Um, it's something in here is sparkling. I see a lot of light and, and dust. So there's a lot of light, there's a lot of dry dustiness. I like this, very incense-y. Awesome, I think a lot of people are going to be pleased with this and I think um, this is what a lot of people have been waiting for a long, long, long time for Chanel to put out is another heavy oriental. Every time Chanel releases a perfume, it's, it's the same theme over and over again I hear. Oh, it's not Coco. Oh, it's not Coromandel. Oh, it's not Queer de Russie. You know, of course not. It's always something different. That way they can keep expanding, um, you know, their library. Not everything can smell the same, but, you know, maybe Chanel's been listening and said, all right, let's give them what they want. Or they're going after Middle Eastern money, one or the two. But I think a lot of people are going to be um, really happy with this. Great release. I, I'm happy already. Um, I can't wait for for them to be launched in North America, Canada. Uh, I definitely feel like Christian Sheldrake's had his uh, his input and his say in here. This is a, like definitely something along the lines of what he would do. And also, it's it's it still holds the you know it's still very smooth, like Chanel's known for, very high quality. Um, it's really kept its, you know, the quality that Chanel is known for. Very sandy, dusty. Anyway, uh, let us know if you smelt Lalio. I'm really curious. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, some other things that I'm going to open up tomorrow, probably tomorrow or the day after. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to see your comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Drop a big like and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for now. Thanks for now. See ya.